Hello all, welcome back to Mistletine Online and our, well, continuation of South Park, The Stick of Truth. We are almost done with this game, seriously. We are in the last day. Uh, Al Gore says, I told you Man Bear Pig was out there. He is attacking the church now. So guess where we are going to go? We're going to go all the way to the church. All the way to the church. And of course, there is a fast travel right to the church. Alright, so now that we are here with the church, I suggest you save it real quick. Because, as you can see behind that little tree over there, we have a friend. Kinda. Kinda have a friend. Kinda. <laughs> it is Man Bear Pig. And he just attacked us. It's Al Gore. But he is pretending. He has become desperate. He is pretending that he is the man bear pig when we all know he is not. So we will go ahead and lower his armor right off the bat. How's that feel, you son of a bitch? Alright, and from here we want to gross him out with magic missile. Yeah. Yeah, you better be grossed out. And then from here, we want to flame strike his ass. Which will also add burning damage to him. He's going to attack us. Make sure you uh, block because he can do significant damage. So one thing also that we are going to do is we are going to try to shit our pants uh, in this fight. Because this is considered a boss fight, one of very few in the game, actually. Uh, we want to make sure that we try to do this as best as we can. So we're going to use another Circumcision on him. Which will give him four stacks of bleeding. And he might actually just bleed out. Uh, so we don't want to kill him too fast. What we'll do here is we'll give another Mana Potion to our... Well, let's give him one that we have ten of. That's probably the best idea. Uh, so we will give another burrito to us, and then hopefully that'll be a mana overload. Nope, not yet. All right, so we are just going to sit here and not do a thing. Ouch! Mana overload, perfect. So we should get a trophy now for shitting our pants during a boss fight. Roar! There we go, you have earned a trophy. Irritable bowels. All right, let's just finish off this poor, poor son of a bitch. Ouch. And we can finish him off with a good curse. A good curse ought to be enough. Fat bitch, I hope you fucking smack my babe. Hate you, fucking son of a bitch. And I goodbye, man bear pig. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we can go ahead and loot his ass. Can we? Can we? Yeah, we can. Man Bear Pig Claw. Purple Heart Badge. We got so much from doing that. Perfect. So we can go ahead and look at the uh, the weapon that we just got. Man Bear Pig Claw. Perfect attack. Hits the target plus enemy behind. Add 20% damage on perfect attack. Our Holy Lance actually has... Uh, Plus 10% damage per debuff on me. So, to be honest, this is actually better. Um, it's also a sharp weapon. So we'll just modify and take off our frost damage. So remove all. Yes. Cool. And then we will go and equip. We're actually going to equip his... We're going to equip him with this. The Man Bear Pig. For a little while, anyways. We're not going to actually use it that long, which is which is interesting. Uh, we could indeed add a uh, 50 shock, or we could just do gross damage. Um, I actually don't think that's a good idea, to be honest with you. Grave Dirt is really, really, really good. Um, and so is our Tesla Coil. We actually have a lot of really good stuff. Um, adds two bleeding on perfect attack. Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful stuff. Uh, but we are actually going to just do the attacks ignore up to 100 armor. That's also really good, too. Uh, but we are going to go with adds 50 fire damage. Or no. 
Yeah, we're going to go with that. That's just going to make sure that they burn as well every time that we attack. Cool. So we defeated Man Bear Pig. Let's see what the quest is for us now. We don't have one. Interesting. We could go to uh, the you store it? No, we don't need to. We're totally done with the Man Bear Pig quest. Completely, completely done. Um, we still have 73 friends though, which is good. If we look at our friends, we are going to lose um, Al Gore as a friend, I'm pretty sure. I'm like 90% sure that we'll lose Al Gore as a friend. But for right now, he's our friend. All right, so let's use the fast travel. And we are going finally to Kyle's house. Ah, Commander Douchebag has decided to bless us with his presence. Let's get started. Humans and elves of Zaron, a great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat I agree. to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is... You have something to say, wizard? So, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. <laughs> you guys, this is serious. Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so... Our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that. We do not team up with fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard badass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell a butter that that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you suck my elven dick, butters? Enough! Whether we are human or elf is not gonna matter one bit if all of Zaron is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The pirates, the Federation, and the girls. The girls? Kyle, the girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends. I'll give him that. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your station. All right. Prepare for war. And we get Kyle as a new buddy. And Cartman, which is weird because we've been using them this entire time. Whatever. At least Cartman is going to be our friend now. I think he unfriended us. You fucking traitor douchebag. You may be an alliance, but it's an uneasy alliance. All right. All right. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, dick. Okay, cool. So, we are here. We wanted to talk to Dog Poo. Uh, wherever he is. Where is Dog Poo? You're not Dog Poo. You're Jason. We elves craft the finest shit in the land. Uh, they also have some really good weapons, like the Sword of the Sword of Endings, which is uh, gain attack up when you kill an enemy and gain 100 X, uh, HP when you kill an enemy. Pretty powerful. Recurve bow, so good, so good. All of this stuff is really, really good. Eventually, you do have to buy all of this uh, for trophies, so we're not gonna worry too much about it. Uh, there's the monk stuff is pretty good too. We need to find dog poo though. I guess Chris Donnelly will be our friend if we talk like to him. All right, here's Dog Poo. Our territory is restored. I am honored to friend you. And we get Dog Poo as a friend uh, because of the banners. Remember, we did the banners quest. Don't talk to me. Talk to Cal. He's your BFF. Remember? So everybody. Perhaps you would like the services of a level ten bot. There was a fan. And I think. Did you get the girls to agree? Speak We're with all one of the together now. If you need me to fight next to you, I will. If you just need a human, <laughs> there's always cards. So we have Dog Poo and Chris Donnelly are our friends. Fuck you for smashing all my fucking banners, asshole. That's what I wanted to tell you. Tell the guy who did this once you catch him for me. Oh, he doesn't know it was me. I'm sitting on the toilet taking a huge smelly dump because I'm a big dumb fat ass. LOL. Pick a better password. Fuck you guys. Seriously. So good. All right. So we can shrink down now that we have our, uh, our gnome dust, which is what I'm trying to equip. And we can go in here and grab 
This, which is cash, revive potion, and a power potion. I could have sworn there was others in here, too. Am I just being weird? I could have sworn there was more for us to get. Wasn't there? So, we need to go and talk to the girls and recruit them to our side. So let's go ahead and uh, use fast travel to go all the way to the restaurant row. And at this point, we can go over here. We need to go to City Hall, and we need to recruit the damn girls to our side. We absolutely do. They are the most powerful faction in all like a nice of Zaron. What is this? The boys want us to play with them? I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Yes. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? Oh, God. So normally you have to beat up the bullies that are doing that, but uh, beating her up or whatever, taking her Justin Bieber toy. But we already did that. Oh my god. The 412th meeting of the girls is hereby called to order. Sparkle, sparkle. Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle. Millie Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes! Yeah, that's that's better. Better. Better way. Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle. Annie Mitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. <laughs> yes. What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Ali oh, no. was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't <gasps> sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're going to send Monica a Facebook page with your picture. Then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood. And you want to meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be. And see if Monica tries to hit on you at all. Because that way, we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. What? Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! That's so crazy. Leave it to a woman to come up with some ass-backwards plan like that. Damn, women. <laughs> so good. You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. You got when the job it. is done, come see me. Pose as Bebe's boyfriend. Yeah, douchebag. The plots of we can do that. We got a new message from Cartman. Uh, douchebag! Make sure you hose any cooties off before you return to Koopa Keep. Koopa Keep. Uh, where's the best way to get to the park? Pretty sure it's this way, isn't it? Yeah, I am hey, that popular, popular kid. kid. You're right. Hey, Kelly. It's my girlfriend, you know. Did we use this yet? We didn't. All right, cool. All right, that's actually interesting that we just found that. Uh, we're going to take a slight detour and go to... Is this his house? No, that's not his house. Where's Kevin Stoley's house? Jimmy's house. Clyde's. Kevin Stoley's is the blue house. Alright, so we're gonna run to Kevin Stoley's real quick because we just got Stoley's uh, parents' bedroom's key, which is where we need to go. Uh, we don't need to go there, um, but I think it's a good idea. The more items and the more things we get, the better. Alright, we've been here many times, but never into the parents' bedroom. Interesting stuff. This is the bathroom. Now we have access to his ba his parents' bedroom for the Federation badge. Beautiful. Bald cap. We already have a bald cap, though. So actually, not that much stuff was here. 
Not really worth it. Not really worth it at all. Uh, can you shoot anything, maybe? Alrighty. Let us leave. And go to the park. I need to see where the park is, though, because I keep forgetting. Oh, the park is all the way over here, so the fastest way to get there would be to use the fast travel to go to the photo dojo. Uh, cool. You know what? I want to fight this zombie. And we hit level 15 from that quick little fight, which is actually why I did it, because I, I thought we were pretty close. I wasn't sure how close we actually were. Really close is the answer. All right, so at level 15, we get our final... Is that the final? Yeah, that's the final. So level 15 is actually the level cap. Uh, that's as high as you can go, which means we only have one more upgrade. Do we grab level 10 upgrade on Whirling Doom? Dreidel attacks now bounce to more targets. Or do we grab increase the damage dealt by your Jujitsu attack? I think that we should just go with the... Jiu-Jitsu, just increase the damage dealt. You know what? I lied. We never use Jiu-Jitsu. Let's just put more points into Whirling Doom. Because at least we use Whirling Doom to get off uh, their their status effects, their beneficial status effects. So, all right. And now we need to go to the fast travel. Uh, it's crazy that level 15 is level cap though already. I feel like... I feel like there should be more levels, like level 20 or so. Wow, lots of guys here. Okay, going this way, going to the park. Alrighty. Any means necessary, douchebag. Hello, Monica. Oh, hi. I am Mike, hi. Mike. So, yeah. you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced, if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a you're really a interesting boy. You're a backstabbing bitch. Uh -huh. We knew it! You two-faced, manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah, now we know you're a two-faced bitch. What do you mean? You guys are my best friends. Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Oh, Monica, shit! What the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced gang. Guys, wait! Please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand Oh, Jake. That. Jake, listen, Jake. Jake, man. Jake? This looks like a job for the Grand Wizard and his trusty sidekick. Oh, Jake. Listen, man. Stalin won't save you. Listen. We're just gonna end this real quick, huh? Well, let's just end this. Poor Jake, man. Fucking with the wrong guy. Fucking with the wrong guy, Monica's boyfriend, Jake. Yeah. Why don't you just, why don't you just get out of here? Monica. Monica is a new friend request. How? I like Monica. Hey, I'm sorry that Jake flipped out like that, but I'd still love to be friends. You would, Monica. You would. You want to be friends. You want to be friends with all this. All this. So we are good here. Our next quest is return to Annie at City Hall. Oh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Hey, Annie. The girls want to thank you for your help. We let's can go. go see them again whenever you're ready. All right, then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, we want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two faced bitch. She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. <laughs> you guys are the you see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me, then tries to stab me in the back. 
Right. So, we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! Oh, yay! Oh, my... I love makeovers! I am gonna look so pretty. So we can pick a wig? We're gonna use this wig. Yeah! Oh, what do we want? What do we want? We wanna look... Lingerie. Ooh, we so hot. Uh, yeah. For sure. It's the biggest heels we can get. I want these ones. Perfect! Yeah. Are you sure you wanna wear that? I look damn good. You're as ready as you'll ever be, I guess. I Let's look get to the so hot. 